One decade after Hurricane Katrina decimated St. Bernard Parish, much has been rebuilt, and many residents have returned. In 2014, the U.S. Census Bureau estimated that more than 44,000 people called St. Bernard Parish home. That is up 23 percent from 2010. There were 15 public schools in St. Bernard Parish pre-Katrina. Now 11 have been rebuilt. WDSU anchor Adriana Hopkins now with how faith has played a big part in the rebirth of the parish and the challenges still to come. There are so many new things in St. Bernard Parish. New businesses, new homes, new people. The school system, the hospital, city services, they're all top notch. But when you talk to people in St. Bernard Parish, they say there is still a lot of work to be done. Bringing people back, rebuilding. And the heart of that effort is the church. There's only one body big enough to handle something like this, and it's the church. <clears throat> and I didn't know that was a word of prophecy. But it was because the church is what made this thing happen, this big recovery. Dr. John D. Jeffries, one of many pastors who stayed after the storm, he credits the church for a different sort of resurrection, the rebirth of St. Bernard Parish, out of its post-Katrina hellscape, new life. Here, church is much more than a building. It is the people. The grit and the grime was done by people sitting in pews in churches across the country. So Pastor Jeffries of First Baptist Church in Chalmette says it is the church and its flock that laid the foundation. They sent people, they sent resources, they sent money, they sent supplies. They came down, they manned the fort, uh, they ran feeding stations, <clears throat> they brought their hammers, their tools. They helped. They're still coming. We still have groups that are coming down here. And their hard work bore a bounty of fruit. There's a lot of good for the people of St. Bernard Parish 10 years after the very worst Katrina could throw at them. They went through a tough situation. We all lost everything. But the, the attitude of this parish and the people is such positive that it's moved forward. And, and we're doing so much better now. President Dave Peralta says the parish applied for a $21 million loan to help replace 50 to 60 percent of the water lines. The community, he says, is attracting developers who see a future here. Our value of property is right at, if not exceeding, what they were pre-Katrina. You know, that's something that people thought it would take 20, 25 years for that to happen. As, as a professional planner, I thought it would take a lot longer to happen. Former parish president Craig Teferro saw the community through much of the rebuilding effort before becoming the state's hazard mitigation director. He's seen plenty of change, but he says through it all, St. Bernard has not lost its charm. A uh, relatively safe community. Uh, education system is still one of the top, you know, in the state. Uh, so we, we have a lot of positives about St. Bernard. And it isn't just outside investors with a newfound or renewed interest in St. Bernard Parish, but someone more vital to rebirth than that. I find that the quality of commitment that the people in this church have towards ministry, towards reaching out and helping uh, their fellow man, their neighbors, uh, more is accomplished with less here. And in my mind, that's evidence of God's movement in our midst. And yet, something is missing. Something very palpable for the people born and raised in this parish. They can feel it. And for some, it may be irreplaceable. When people call this parish home, they're speaking generationally. The fabric of our community was such a large, multi generational connection. You know, this one's mother lived around the corner, and their mother in law lived two blocks away, and their you know, children grew up and lived within two miles or three miles of each other or, you know, those were very common occurrences. And that part of the St. Bernard fabric has not really been restored. Prior to Katrina, when we deal with sheer numbers, we would run anywhere from four to five hundred people. Uh, seven buildings comprised our campus. In the aftermath of Katrina, a hundred percent of our membership was dispersed. When it came time to actually count heads to see how many were here when we got on the recovery mode, we had around 3%. It was about 30 people that we could count on, pre-Katrina people. We still have around 30 or 40 pre-Katrina people. Before Katrina, St. Bernard was home to more than 67,000 people. In 2010, that figure had plunged by almost half to just under 36,000. Growth has been steady ever since, and fostering more homecomings 10 years later, 
that may be the biggest challenge in a place affectionately known simply as the parish. I received a resume to try and help a young fellow uh, get reestablished in St. Bernard Parish. Been gone for 15 years, 10 years, whatever it is, the aftermath of Katrina. And that's still going on. People left, homes and buildings washed away, churches were destroyed, some never to return. Recovery has been a process, 10 years and counting. But all it takes is faith, as small as a mustard seed. It has been planted and is taking root here in St. Bernard Parish. Um, I'm happy to be here. I love these folks. I do feel that I am where God wants me to be. Right now, I'm still convinced that this is where I need to be. I've always used a little Monica to define our church, an unbelievable people doing the impossible for the glory of God. I saw that before Katrina, but I see it even more so now in the aftermath, even 10 years later. We have shown you just how far St. Bernard Parish has come since almost being wiped off the map a decade ago. The people here are strong and refuse to be knocked down by Mother Nature. They have made their home here, many for generations, and this is where they plan to stay. One thing for sure, the people of St. Bernard Parish will not go down without a fight. Good evening. I'm Margaret Orr. And I'm Scott Walker. Thanks for joining us tonight for our focus on St. Bernard Parish 10 years forward. Good night.